On a sunny day in Berlin, these people wait their turn to cast their ballots in elections many think could be decisive for Turkey's future, and which here at least seem to be dividing opinion. I voted for Erdogan today because I see no other candidate that has done so many good things for Turkey. For me, it was an easy choice. Turkey needs new energy and change. For that reason, I'm voting for Maharam Inja. He's the right one for Turkey. He promises great things and has some clue of what he's doing. The expatriate Turkish electorate here is the biggest in Europe. In last year's constitutional referendum, almost half of all the expat votes were cast in Germany. And with some opinion polls suggesting a close result this time, the parties are pushing for every vote. Kenan Kolat is a prominent member of the Turkish community in Germany and supports the opposition CHP. He told us what victory would mean for his side. First, we would try to bring calm, both to the money markets and our economy, but also to the political situation. In the first six months in office, we would try to amend many of the laws that President Erdogan has brought in by decree, and instead try to re-establish Turkey as a country grounded in human rights. Remzi Aru leads the Alliance of German Democrats movement, which is aligned with Turkey's governing AK Party. He thinks this election can usher in a period of consolidation. I think this is a decisive election for Turkey because we've had a historic change to a more presidential system. And I hope that the continuity of leadership we've had these past 15 years can continue for another five and that we can consolidate our new constitutional structures and make them a success.